Okay. What if we said, or do you have an idea, JC, to help him out? We're looking at this part, that blast old snow off mountain peaks. How can we put that in three words? No. You don't know? Um, maybe we could do blast. Yeah. Snow and mountain. Yeah. Or that word off might be important. What if we do blast snow? What if we do off and then we draw uh, some mountains? 100 miles per hour blast snow off mountain. There you go. That might work. Okay, cool. We did it. Phew, that was kind of tricky. Is that good, Easton? You like that? Okay. And then I think the only last fact that we have is right here at the very bottom. Winter and summer at the poles are both six months long. There is no spring or fall. So what do you think, JC? How can we include that information on our outline? Maybe we could do winter, summer, six months, and then we could do like the circle with like the line in the middle for spring and fall. Oh, yeah. Like, sir, okay, I see, I think I know what you mean. Let's start that. Let's put winter, summer, and you could do the number six. You don't have to count that. And maybe M-O for months. And then I think you were talking about like this, like spring, fall, and then circle both of those like that. Is that what you're thinking? And then align through it. Okay. We might have an extra word in there, but since we grouped them together, we won't count it. <laughs> it's okay. Winter, summer, six months. M-O is months. No spring and fall. Good. All right. That's ready. That's ready for your next paragraph. That's going to be paragraph number two. And then go ahead and turn back to the back again. Put a check by weather. And then here's where I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You can decide if you want to do animals or people because the people paragraph was interesting with the scientists and the tourists that go to Antarctica. I don't think anybody really lives there uh, because it's so cold, but they do have scientists visit and tourists that visit to just see it and, it, and stay there for, you know, a few weeks or something. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys. So Easton and JC... You can do your third paragraph about the animals or the people, either one. What do you think you're going to do yours on, Easton? I feel like animals are more interesting. Yeah. How about you, JC? I think I'll go with people. Okay, good. So you guys will do different ones. So let's turn it back over here. And we're gonna go ahead and put Antarctica back on here. I know we have it on each one, but that's okay. Antarctica, I didn't spell that right. Ka. Antarctica. And then Easton's gonna write animals here. JC's gonna write people here. And then one more word that kind of just sums it up about that. So if you are talking about animals, you could say few because there aren't very many that, that live there. You could say Antarctica animals few. And then JC, you could say something like Antarctica people um, what you say. 
found or cited or something like that? Or scientist? I don't know. Another word you can put here. You can think about that. And then this is when I'm going to give you guys some time during class to work on this by yourself. I'm going to stay here. We're going to stay on Zoom together, but I'm going to let you just try to do some of this all by yourself. But if you have questions or if you get stuck and you're not sure, just raise your hand and we can talk about it. But so it sounds like Easton's going to look at that paragraph on the back. I think both of you guys are on the back here. So this top one on page 94, this is all about the animals. And then the bottom paragraph here is all about the people. So Easton, you're going to look at this top paragraph. JC, you're going to look at the bottom paragraph. Uh, look at what you underlined. And if you don't have anything underlined yet, do that part first so you can see what you think is interesting. And then I want you to start working on this by yourself, okay? You understand, Easton? You good? Okay, and JC, good. Okay, so go ahead and get started. I'll just wait right here for a minute and then let me know if you have any questions. You're going to start working on one through five right here. Easton, I do want you to keep your, don't cover up your camera because I want to be able to see you. Okay, but I need to see you working. I wanted to remind you, JC, that when you have a name that's capitalized, like Captain John Davis, you can count that as one word, okay? Because that's his name. Okay, just wanted to remind you of that.
How's it going, Easton? You doing okay? I'm not like the third one. Okay, good. How about you, JC? Which one are you on? I'm on the during the summertime, the population of researchers and tourists can reach 4,000 to 5,000 people. Okay, so what number is that on your outline? Number four. Okay, good. Okay, good job, guys. Keep going. Almost done. I finished. Okay, good. I'm finished too. Oh, good. That was good timing, you guys. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to have Easton go first. Just tell me what you have written by one through five. Just read them off to me right here. Okay, so some of the words might not make sense because I like trying to minimize them. Okay, like, that's okay. So summer might be some and just, it's going to be whatever. I understand. Just try to put some stuff. Okay. So one was penguins adapted. Um, I tried drawing like a house and like icicles on it, oh, like for okay. harsh maybe, because that would be like cold or I don't know. That's a good idea. Then I like it. I just put climate after that. Okay. Then for pen, that would be penguin. Okay. Sort of. I don't know. Yeah, that works. Then it says escape in summer months or i put m-o-n for like an abbreviation of like months good i like it um and i put at and i put um uh, at the end of like i put some for summer okay. and i put pen for penguin then um <laughs> Did you forget what you put? And they like escape just for to migrate. It migrate. Says at, migrate after. Okay. This, uh, this one is um what was this one? Oh, num is for like num numbers. Okay. Uh, oh, numerous. It's it stands for numerous. Ah, yes. And I put species and um 
of moss and like and like I put this for disappear and then I put some for summer. <clears throat> oh yeah. Then okay. I put there are rarely animals. Like I just put that there just it was just an extra sentence because I put like all the sentences in yeah. here except like one and like the one isn't really that interesting so i had to make up my own you did great easton i like what you have that's really good i i think you nailed it right there that's good and then jc how about you what did you put here for all yours for the animals hmm Wait, for the animals? I thought I was doing people. I mean, I'm sorry, people. Yes, you are. Okay. That was my fault. Sorry. Yeah, tell me what you put about the people here. Okay. Um, For one, I did Antarctica, cited 1820 Captain John Davis. Okay, good. For the second one, I did um first rock building the Scottish National Antarctic Expedition. And okay. I just put S-N-A-E for short. Oh, good. Okay, that's smart. Yeah. And then for three, I did research, visited, scientists, Antarctic treaty. Okay. And then for number four, I did summertime, tourists, 5,000. And then I did a little stick figure for people. Okay. And then for number five, I did 100 years, explore continent. Nice. Very good. You guys both did awesome. I like it. So impressed at you guys. And you did that all by yourself. So you're you're definitely getting these keyword outlines. I love it. Let's look really quick at the checklist next. Because what you're going to do is keep going on your report. So you already did paragraph one for today. And then you're just going to keep going on the same document or the same paper um, with paragraph two and three. So just to remind you, this is how I grade your work. So I I'm looking for all these things. And since you're finishing your report this week, you're going to give it a new title. I don't want you to just call it Antarctica. I want you to come up with a, a clever title. It can be um, something like Life on Antarctica or what is Antarctica, or you could come up with something to add to that word Antarctica, or come up with something that's completely different. It's up to you how you want to do your title, but it has to have at least one to three key words in the final sentence. So the final, final sentence, the end of your third paragraph has to have at least one of the words from your title. Okay. So you got to do that. And then the topic clincher um, you guys are getting pretty good at that too. I'm super happy about that. So you're going to either highlight or bold. If the rule says two to three key words, remember repeat or reflect. So don't forget that rule for each paragraph. And then of course your dress ups, L-Y, who, which, strong verb, and because clause. I do want to talk to you about that because clause really quick. But before I do that, I don't think you're going to have to worry about these band words because you're not, you don't have any characters talking or anything. So I think you'll be fine there, but the because clause. Okay. I do want to show you something here and you don't have to write this down. You can just watch what I'm going to do here. Um, I found this sentence on, on somebody's paper. It wasn't either one of you guys. It was a different class, but they said, you can just watch me here. The continent is extremely cold because of the ice. And then this student underlined because. I think they might've even underlined extremely too for the L-Y, okay? Which is fine. You can have them both in the same sentence, that's fine. But she used of, next to the word because, and that completely changes this type of, of sentence here, because if you have because of, that makes it a prepositional phrase. You guys know what those are because you do that in grammar. It's not a clause anymore. 
So remember, I'm going to put up here, a clause has a verb, a phrase does not have a verb. So a clause has a verb, a phrase does not have a verb. If I just underline because of the ice, that's a prepositional phrase. There's no verb there because of the ice. So on your checklist though, they want you to use it as a clause. See that word clause here? So don't use because of. How can we fix this? I mean, you can completely change the sentence if you want, but how could we fix this so we can take off of and it and we need a verb right we need an action or a helping verb in there do you guys have any ideas of how we can change this so we can take off of you have an idea jc If not, that's okay. I can help you guys. Maybe we could do the continent is extremely cold because there is a lot of ice. Yes, I like that. So we would take off of and put here, there is a lot. Even though you have of here, that's okay. It's not next to because, so that would work. And this word is is a verb, is is actually a verb. So that works. The continent is extremely cold because there is a lot of, I gotta cross out that too, a lot of ice. Good, that's a perfect example. So I just wanted to point that out to you to make sure you don't use because of, okay? So actually what, I, what we could do, look at your checklist really fast with me again. And right next, to because clause, put because of, and then circle that and draw a line through it just to help you remember, don't use because of. <laughs> just because, maybe that'll help you for that. Okay, any questions about the because clause? Nope, good. So you're just basically looking for a spot in your paper to tell why something is the way it is. Tell why, okay? And make sure there's a verb with it. That's the clause. So once again, your homework is, because now you're done with Roman numeral two and three, you're gonna write both of those paragraphs, two and three, using your checklist. And it's a miracle, you guys, but we are done a little bit early today. <laughs> Woohoo! You did great. So, and I know you got your outlines done, so you're ready to go. So that's it for today. You're gonna write paragraphs two and three, and then you have that grammar to do. Don't use because of, try not to use that when you're using because. Good job, you guys, that's it. So I will see you next week. Have a good day.